Hello everybody, uh, in this lecture we will be solving 1986 IMO problem number one. Here's a view of this problem. We are given a set with four elements, uh, namely 2, 5, 13 and D. D can be any positive integer, not equal to 2, 5 or 13. The statement of the problem uh, is basically that uh, we can, one can always find two elements in this set such that um, AB minus 1 is not a perfect square and this is, rega this is regardless of the choice um, of, of D. Um, okay, so um, let's first test a few things I guess. Um, hold on, oops. Alright, I have my new smart device and I'm kind of uh, playing with it I guess. Um, so let me make sure I use my blue board marker. Um, so uh, let's just first test a few of these numbers. For instance, if I pick 2 and 5 huh, from this set, 2 times 5 uh, minus 1, huh, minus 1 is equal to 9, and obviously 9 is a perfect square. What if I picked 2 and 13? 2 and 13. Um, so 2 times 13 is 26, minus 1 is 25, again a perfect square. And finally 5 and 13. 5 times 13 minus 1, 5 times 13 is 65, minus 1 is 64. So all three uh, of these combinations so far gave me um, a perfect square. So for the statement to hold, um, so one, one of the three remaining pairs, huh, four, choose, um, 4 choose 2 is uh, 6. Huh? Yeah, so what are the remaining pairs? So I, I, I might have... 2 times d minus 1 um, or I might have 5 times d minus 1 and finally 13 times d minus 1 the claim is that all three cannot be uh, perfect squares right so hopefully one of them at the least uh, uh, should uh, should not be a perfect square so we can uh, we can uh, proceed by way of contradiction so by way of contradiction I can just assume that um, all three of these expressions are perfect squares um, you focus on the first expression here we just realize from this first expression that um, regardless of the choice of D Huh? So you have an even expression here. This this whole thing is even here. So even minus odd is odd. So x squared is odd, suggesting that x will be odd. So let's um, take x to be, um, um, why not? 2 sub x1 plus 1 here. And as a result, um, yeah, let, let's find out what D will come out of this whole thing. So let me um, continue here in the space. Well, actually, I can continue here. So from here, uh, if we proceed carefully, um, we would just realize that um, 2D is equal to x squared plus 1, which is um, 4x1 squared plus, um, I assume, 4x1 huh? plus, um, plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2, I guess, right? And from here we get that um, d is equal to 2x1 squared plus 2x1 plus 1. Wow. Surprisingly, okay, so d is odd. d is an odd number as well. Huh? So x was odd. D is, a, d is odd as well because this is even. And so you have, um, okay, so d is odd um, when we... So in, in, for, for the expressions for y and z, we just realized that y comes out as huh, odd minus odd is even. So y is an even number. So here y is even. And the same can be said for z as well. So they're both even. So I will proceed from here, right? So I'll, I'll call y as 2y sub 1. And for z, I'll just express it as 2z sub 1. And hopefully that should lead to the contradiction that I need. Um, so as a result, the second expression here, so 5d um, minus 1 is equal to, so we replaced y squared with uh, oops, 4y sub 1 squared. In a similar way, the third expression here will become 13d minus 1 is equal to 4z sub 1 squared. 
and I will go ahead and multiply the first of this uh, equation by minus 1 and add these two together. So as a result, I should get um, on the left hand side, obviously these minus 1s will cancel. So I'll have 8d is equal to uh, 4 times z1 square minus y1 square. 4 times z sub 1 square minus y sub 1 squared. So simplifying by 4, 2d is equal to, and I factorize this expression here, z1 minus y1 times z1 plus y1. Now we sit back and we just realize that here, d, recall that d was an odd integer, right? So it's an odd number, as you can see from this expression, and multiplied it by 2. Um, the left hand side is definitely divisible by 2, but not by 4. 2d is divisible by 2, but not by 4. So you can think of it as 2 mod 4. But when you focus on the right hand side, so um, we have the difference and the sum of two integers, which we know very well will have the same parity, right? So uh, either both of these expressions will end up being odd, or both of them will end up being even at the same time. If both of them are odd, they are definitely not divisible by 2, a contradiction. And if both of these expressions are even at the same time, huh, um, for instance, z1 and y1 are both odd, as a result, z1 minus y1 is even, and z1 plus y1 is even as well. So you have an even expression here, an even one here, so times 2, times 2. Huh? So the right-hand side is divisible by 4, but again, early on we, ex we realized that the left-hand side is only divisible by 2, not by 4, and that's the contradiction we need, right? So we come up with a, with a contradiction. So, um, um, so therefore, our initial claim uh, w was wrong. So it's not possible to express all three of these uh, expressions, 2d minus 1, 5d minus 1, and 13d minus 1 as perfect squares. At least one of them is not a perfect square, and that proves uh, the statement of the problem. Hope to see you in our next video.